And welcome back to the pregame show, live from the Hilton in Atlanta as we get ready for the Celebration Bowl. Joined by a man who needs no introduction. Y'all know, know who Dr. Doom is. Robert Brazil, NFL Hall of Famer, SWAC Hall of Famer, Jack State Hall of Famer. How does it feel to be here for this national championship? We make a difference, Jeff. Um, I've heard everything you've done for my school, the way you supported Dion and the team. I want to say thank you. Appreciate that, brother. Man, let me tell you something. People don't realize what's going on. Me and Walk used to talk about things like this. I mean, when I go back and I came and I started a conversation without saying we want to do this. Mm -hmm. But when you got a person like the guy we have as a head coach, Deion Sanders, people, we don't know how blessed we are here at Jackson State. Deion, let me tell you something. He called me before he took the job. Mm -hmm. And this is what he promised me was a championship. Now you want to know why I'm Robert Brazil here? Because Dion promised me this. And I'm here to support him. And uh, we happened to catch a very special moment between you and Coach Sanders at the end of the SWAC championship game here in Jackson. We saw you drop down on one knee and, and pat him and give him a hug. Because you know he was still still yes, couldn't move yes, too yes, well, yes, yes. and y'all had a, a real good talk right there. We weren't finished. That was his word. I'm not finished. We got one more, and that one hits tomorrow. Yeah. So, I mean, I uh, I can't say how lucky we are to have him. The history that he's making here, mm -hmm. the things that are going to not only be good for Jackson State, to all HBCU. Dion, I don't know what we can do other than praise him. Pat him on the back and let him continue to be Dion. Don't mess with Dion. Support him. Yeah. Support him because whatever he said he's going to do, we're doing it. Yeah. We're doing it, man. Yes, I mean, sir. you know, I wish I was like 20, 30 years younger because I would love to be on the sideline with Dion. <laughs> I'm sure he'd love to have you. And speaking of uh, who he loved to have, you know, you were at Jackson State during an era where finding talent, recruiting talent, and getting talent to come to 1400 Lynch Street wasn't a problem. And now you're seeing that happen back at Jackson State and SWAC wide and HBC wide with some of the talent that's choosing to come home instead of going other places. How does it make you feel as a person who was laboring in those venues years ago and made it to the pinnacle of pro football to see people now coming back home? See, I know you had to go over there. And I want to tell you a story. People do not know that Robert Brazil was a walk-on. Surprising, man. Yeah. Surprising. Yeah. I walked on, you know, I tell you the story, okay? In my senior year, I was a top night blue chipper in Mobile, Alabama. Mm -hmm. I broke this right arm. Every big school got off of me. I signed a letter of intent with Troy State. Me and Ricky Young, you know Ricky yeah. Young, okay? Now, we got to go way back during those years. My mother had never seen a two-piece swimsuit. We drive up on Troy State campus. Yeah. And everybody's suntanning. Yeah. My mama said, Tanya, Tanya, no, 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 no. You can't go to skate here, yeah, Robert. Yeah. You cannot. She made my dad turn the car around. So the next week, we go to Jackson State. My cousin, Anthony Gill, mm -hmm. introduced me to Bob Hill. Bob Hill never looked at me. He looked down at Rick and said, can you uh, block son? He said, yes, sir. He said, can you catch? He said, yes, sir. I give you a scholarship. I said, coach, what about me? And these words, I never forgot, he told me. He said, you got to make my team. And that's all Rob Brazil need to hear. Somebody giving him a challenge to yeah. make his team. Yeah. And that's why I, I walked on from that to here, to the Hall of Fame. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Troy University in those two-piece bathing suits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it was a hot day, and they were out there showing skin. <laughs> And you came on the Lynch Street. That is, that's an amazing that's story. Amazing. But it's the truth, sir. Yeah. The thing about that is that sometimes you need to listen, kids. And I say this. You got to listen to the people that love you the most. My mama loved me. And she was trying to put me in a better place because you got to understand, I come from a, a new a high school that just been segregated. I had to, you know, go to, go to my class with a National Guard. Yeah. She didn't want her baby to go to college like that. Yes. She wanted me to go somewhere to have some fun. Sure. And, and be safe, a nurturing environment. That's one of the things we yeah, speak that's to. One thing that AP could do, they, they, you know, it's a, case, yeah. a, safe, a safe haven. Yes, that's yes, all no doubt about it. it. No doubt about it. Uh, I, we tell, we talk about that, uh, coach, on this show all the time. 
that when you find an HBCU environment, it's a safe place for young black people. In this crazy world that we're living in in these days, it is a safe place. You can find some good friends, mm -hmm. yeah. some good leaders, some good, good fathers, good mothers, and also some good football players over there. <laughs> no doubt we found one here. So let's talk a little defense. When you watch this Coach Prime, Dennis Thurman defense they put together, I see you smiling already. I love it. I love it. See, I'm about killing a net with a sludge hammer. And Dennis <laughs> thinks like Robert Brazil. Yeah. You know, Dion said, I'm going to take you out. That's what his defense is telling. We're going to take your whole offense out the game. And I love it. I mean, we got some guys, you know, the NFL, yeah. if you ain't looking, it's your fault. And you know what it's supposed to look like. I know what it's supposed to look like. We got some guys can play in the NFL right now. Yeah. Right now. We got some linebackers and, and DBs. And, uh, I'm, I'm going to say this. Okay. And you be the first to take this a little further. All right. It's been two times that an HBCU should have had a high school trophy. Walter Payton. Uh -huh. and Steve, McNair. Steve McNair. We got one at Jackson State. We got one at Jackson State. He's just a baby. Yeah. But I'm going to predict that he's going to grab a high school trophy. You heard it here. From the quarterback. You heard it here at the Celebration Bowl National Championship. Hall of Famer Robert Brazil predicted Shadur Sanders is going to be a is going to hoist that Heisman Trophy. That got to happen. Why not? Yeah. Why not? That's all we ain't done yeah. in the NFL. This whole step. <laughs> Boy, you give me chills. I love it. Always a pleasure to be Always with you. Good, man. Thank Appreciate you what you're doing. I got to tell you something. I'm looking at Dr. Norwood over there. I check, you know, we, you and I are both uh, co-chairmen to raise money. Hey, how much money you done dropped in? I, I'm, I'm two people behind you. No, no, no. You, well, see, I got I'm some, on you. Well, see, I got something that I got to hold back. Well, see, that was I worried about. <laughs> I might not be able to catch you. But it's all for no, a good cause. No, but let me tell you something. We need to do this. Yeah. When she came to me about this idea about this, I said, why not go for me? Let's go for the gusto. Yeah. Let's go get it. People. What we're doing today with the, like the, the $100 thing for 50 that's easy. That's easy. That's we're going to spend that at the bar. Yesterday. Yeah. I ain't talking yeah. about tonight. I said yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate you coming Thanks. by. Looking forward to seeing you at the end of the game tomorrow. I'll be there. Because we're going to be there smiling. I've been in the AD booth. Come get me. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. We're going to go to a quick break, and we're going to bring up uh, some more special guests. we got the National Alumni Association president going to join us. Uh, we also have Earl Sanders Baseball Hall of Famer going to join us. It's Neely on behalf of Bishop for the pregame show with the Black College Sports Network. We will be right back. I got it. I got it. You already know. I got the COVID-19 vaccine. I got it because you can only do prom once. I got it because my team got big buzz this year. I got it because my wife needs all the help he can get. I got it because this school year is going to be awesome. I got it because I missed my friends. Sign up to get your vaccine today. Find out how at I got it, ms